You know what's good, YouTube. Scratch that video here back again once again. And today, we're going to be starting our first non challenge run. But I need to go over a few things before we do and explain why I have two characters unlocked by accident and what happened and all that. Well, let's go ahead and look at them. We got Isaac already unlocked. Maggie, we can un get unlocked by having seven plus heart containers. Kane, we can unlock by getting 55 plus cents. Judas Mystery. Even Samson. Why do I have these two unlocked already? While I was in the middle of a video recording, people came home like an hour early, and I forgot to save what I had. So that's my fault. Azazel we can get by making three deals with the devil. Lazarus we can get four plus soul hearts, and Eden we need to get some Eden tokens. I forget how do you do that though. But because the default is Isaac, I'm going to go ahead and start with Isaac. Let's go ahead and look at our seed. 74 ww 0 H or M. Crap, I can't even do it M because the way I have it set up. I need to fix that. Then if you don't know what I'm saying, don't worry too much. You know, I'll just say. Wow, that was awful. That was awful. Uh, one in this half, of course, is the first time that we get in the entire game. Ooh, not bad, though. I have M, the letter M marked to mark a spot in the video, which I mainly use for the Pokemon videos, to signify when a Pokemon levels up and all that. It just makes it a lot easier than having to go through all of them. Come on. Get on here, bud. Really should have saved that for this room, but it'll be okay. Because it's just monster. A monster is not even that difficult. So I just got to put a double in. Probably going to change that to come like shift him or something. I don't know. I could probably do shift him. Ugh, that was bad damage though. All we have to do on this run is get to mom and then we will have our first of 10 mom kills. Then we can get down to the... Get down to having uh it lives and then mom's heart so yeah spoilers i guess if you don't know how this game works you'll be learning because i am going to teach and because you should have played this game a long time ago because it's an amazing game but if you haven't well then i'll convince you to buy it hopefully go ahead and place a bomb there look for a secret room it is not there but we do get a penny which is completely pointless Gonna shoot the poop, trying to get five cents so I can possibly spawn an arcade on the next floor, so I can possibly get a spirit heart. But it does not seem like that's gonna happen. That's unfortunate. It's really unfortunate. Uh, any raw nothing. So just don't get hit. It seems. We don't get hit, we can get deal with the devil on the next floor. That's going to get us one step closer to unlocking Azazel. Can't go in there just yet. Don't, you, no one ever uses those because they're garbage here. I wish I had like a 9 volt or the AAA battery. Because if I had a 9 volt or a AAA battery, I could use the Lemon Mishap every room. Yeah, I could use it here, but it's whatever. So, how do I get out of this situation? One, either find some bombs, hope that rock for some reason contains a spirit heart, or get... I'm not going to that big room yet. I'm going to try to avoid the big room. I'm not going for that penny. The poop is too dangerous. Gamble a bit here so I can try to get... Well, that was... Completely worthless. But that did do a ton of damage to Larry Jr. Larry Jr. So I might be able to actually still get a deal with the devil here. I want latch key so I can get a luck up and two keys. That way I can make my way into the item room. But it doesn't seem that's going to happen. Instead, I'm going to pick all these up. I'm going to get a contract from below, I'm going to get Ron Baby, and I'm going to get Dead Cat. 
and I'm already have Azazel unlocked. So that was easy. Contract from below is amazing. Rom baby, I think people overrate personally. And Dead Cat, I'm one third of the way to becoming Guppy, so I'm fine with it. Rom baby shoots out a fly, which would do 1.5 times the damage that your tears do. Contract from below, every drop is now going to be a double drop, so one penny would now drop as two pennies. No, it, no, that is a humbling bundle. Contract from low just drops two of them. So how that would normally drop one chest, that now drops two chests. I unfortunately cannot get into my item room. That, yeah, that sucked. I don't even think it's possible for these to hold keys. But, it is what it is. My bad. That's a suboptimal play, so. One third of the way to becoming Guppy, have Run Baby, and have Contract from below. Just get some keys, and I'm going to feel a lot better about this run. Although, Demon Judgment would be, um, not Demon Judgment, uh, Dark Bomb would be amazing right there. Also, the greatest intro item of all time, Dark Bomb. Run into the fire. Thank you. Ooh, that was an amazing drop from that room. 18, 15, 15 cents. No, 10 cents. So good. I mean, I'm not going to complain about 10 free cents. Especially in this game. You may be wondering why are there cents in this game if you don't know. Since this is the beginning, I will might as well explain how the... Is because you can buy stuff from the shop, obviously. And also, it allows you to get... It allows you to upgrade your shop, which at the moment is going to be absolute trash. I highly doubt this is going to work. Yeah, I didn't think so. Hmm. Let me see what... Skipping one item room is bad, but skipping two is awful. Thankfully, those two spirit hearts will probably help. Blow up these three skulls. May give me a tarot card, may give me a Empress card. Okay. So, if I skip one item room, that's awful. If I skip two, that's even worse. And... These item rooms are what makes or breaks your run, and oh my god, I am so close to not getting hit. I've never seen that room, and I got out of it barely. <laughs> Probably wasn't a good idea to stand still, but hey, it works. Empress card is going to allow us to get massive damage boost on one room. Uh, might as well. No, you can't, because of course not. It's a golden chest. We're a bit slow. I need some speed. Hey, you say that. Okay, let me mishap just destroyed them, it seems. Speed and damage up, that's nice, but not that important. So, since I have three characters unlocked, now next video will probably be a Samson run, the video after that will probably be a Eve run, and the video after that will probably be an Azazel run, so I have at least one run, one run, one, one run out of those. Try saying that three times fast. Can't get that spirit heart, it's not that important though. These guys are going to be a bit of a pain in the dick. Glad we got the two keys. We can now make our way into the item room. And since you kind of can figure out what's going on from there. Oh, I hate this room. Because it's annoying more than anything. It's not difficult. It's just annoying. 
any enemies that have kind of an invincibility period, along with four cents in a bomb. Any enemies that have an invincibility period along with those little shooters right there are annoying as hell. Mom's Perfume is going to be a slight damage up with the Fierce Shot occasionally coming in, I believe. Or is that just Dark Matter that has the damage up? I am not actually sure. If someone that watches these knows, let me know. Because there's, very, there's a few slight mechanics about this game that I don't necessarily understand. And... It's the ones like those that I don't. Health up. A nice pill for us to get. Empress. And a couple of cents. I'm actually gonna buy the coin purse. We got mom's contact for reasons. Range down. Ooh. Yeah, I think a key is more important than a bomb. And if need be, and if I can, I'll come back by that key. I've got another bombs or key pill on the floor. I'll first pop the bombs or key pill, then buy the key. Except now, I would probably just buy the key by itself, so I would have balanced keys and bombs. Why did we just get a little bit of our health back? Oh yeah, Pulsena that we picked up a little while back. Mega Fetty is a pain, because the, he's not a difficult boss, he's just tanky. Like, he's probably one of the tankiest bosses in the game. Besides, like, Mega Saiyan, Isaac, Blue Baby, Goat, and Satan. Yes, there's Satan and there's Mega Satan. You can fight them both on the same run. Little Chubby. The screw's not that good. But the pact is. And we got Lazarus. So within like two runs, we have four characters unlocked. That's not even bad. Samson, it will probably be Samson E. No, it would be Eve because I unlocked her first. Then Samson, then Azazel, then a Lazarus run. But our tier rate has gone up and so has our damage. It's a very slight damage up, I believe. But it's definitely a huge tears up, which is going to be the majority of the health. If any of my information is wrong, don't sh shoot the messenger. I'm getting my messages from someone else. Yes, they write the script and everything about the show. Oh, I didn't mention there's a script to this? No, of course. How else do you think I got this good? But, either way. I've been kind of in a lot of physical pain recently. I think I may have like a brick neck. No, I don't got a crooked neck. <laughs> I, I'm not Jiminy Cricket. I don't have a... I, I'm not the conscience of a puppet whose friends get turned into donkeys. Seriously though, that movie is dark for a kid's movie. Like, really dark. I think if you get two golden keys on the same floor, you should get a free key. Not a, not a freaky key, but a free key. Shroom's always been weird. Pick up two bombs. Bomb your way over. That's going, thanks to that bomb rock, it's going to allow me to get in here. And I'm going to pick up Virgo, which is really amazing. Virgo is like PhD. PhD allow, gives you all good pills, but it tells you what the pills are. Virgo does not tell you what the pills are. But it also ha gives you a chance of being invincible for... A tiny bit if you take uh, another hit of damage on the same room. Virgo is one of the best defensive items in the game, and I don't even know what it does. So, yeah. That's gonna definitely help. It's slowly whittling him down, anyways. Let me miss half has carried us a bit, and oh my god, that's it already? Pageant Boy is gonna give us. Over seven cents. Gonna bring us up to seventeen, and I'm gonna pick up Death Touch. It's the first time that I've been, first time I've used it on camera, and now you're about to see why this is one of the better items in the game and why it takes one of the harder challenges to unlock. It's piercing, spectral, 
Oh, it's not spectral. It's just piercing. It's piercing tears with a massive damage and a huge hitbox, essentially. Ah, ladder's not good. Believe the next floor is the last floor, so I'll donate after that. Yeah, I could donate 14 cents now, but you know what? It's not worth it, really. Like, this is how I did it whenever I was trying to get my uh, donation machine up to 999. Is I just wanted to wait until the last floor, which... I believe this is it. I think we're way in here. Not worth it. We're not going to become Guppy, unfortunately, but we do got Death Touch. It's a nice little touch to end off the one. Blow up these blue fires. Try to get me a few spirit hearts. I get one. So, for three bombs, I get one spirit heart. Not the best trade put in the world, but it's okay. It's okay. It's very okay. What? I don't even know what that. Ah! Fuck my neck. I've had a damn crick in my neck for the last three days. And it's not how I'm sleeping, apparently, because I switched over to a different bed last night. I know that you don't care about my sleeping habits, but I'm going to talk about them because I don't really have anything to talk about since we're just going to be seeing the only rest of this game. And that's how some of the series is going to be. It's just going to be story time with Kratos. You know what? I'm yeah, pop for full health. Ooh, I really want that. Stopwatch is so broken. I don't care that people hate when I don't use it. It is too good of an item not to use. So I'm going to go ahead, pick up the stopwatch, and donate one cent. Stopwatch, you'll see what it does in just a moment. Well, broken stopwatch, I should say. It actually did not proc on this room, surprisingly. Hmm. Oh, it didn't proc on that room either. So I'm not going to proc on any of these rooms, it seems. I'm going to go ahead and pop the Empress card. Give me a huge boost in damage. I'm going to leave this right here in the middle of the floor. That way. Never mind. I thought that she was going to come down before then. I wanted her to step on some more of my blooming mishap. And she could just die. But this is going to be a one run. GG. I had no doubt that was good. was cornered. His mother, fueled with the desire to serve her god, was bearing down on Isaac. I will do as I am told, my lord. I love you above all else, Isaac's mother repeated to herself. This was the end of the line for Isaac. His mother was far too strong for him. But just as he accepted his fate, God intervened, sending an angel down from above to stop his mother's hand. And just like that, it was over. Well, that is the first official ending. There is no end to this game. There will never be an Oh! We got Spider on the team! Why did that? A Spider is the guy that made a Spider Mod for the vanilla version of Isaac. Go check that out if you don't know what it is. Because vanilla Isaac is cheaper. It also comes with that. We unlocked the womb. We got the purest. And the harbringers. A cube of meat and a ball of fucking bandages. So actually, I lied. Next time, we're going to go back to our challenges. And we're going to do the purest. So, that should be fun. So until next time, thank you for watching. And peace.